Now, after drawing blanks in their last few games, Montego Bay United were back amongst the goals as they came from behind to add more woes to relegation threatened the Sandals South Coast. Karen Madden reports. It hasn't been an easy ride for Montego Bay United this season as they blew hot and cold among the big boys. A 1-0 defeat to UWI last week didn't say much about their credentials, but they bounced back to pile more pressure on Sandals' south coast at Stets. Sandals were sailing along after being 2-0 up after 23 minutes through goals from Claudius Blackburn and Dervin Campbell. But it wasn't going to be their day as Dina Williams with a brace and a goal each from Ronaldo Rodney and Leslie Sanflor in time added on ensured Montego Bay United ran out victors. The win kept Montego Bay United out of harm's way with 34 points while Sandals remain in the drop zone on 19. It's, it's one of those games that you have to win if you expect to stay in the playoff hunt. And, you know, they're up against the wall because they're trying to avoid uh, relegation. So from that standpoint, both teams had to play with a sense of desperation. Uh, but, you know, we certainly shot ourselves in the foot, giving up that first goal off our keeper's feet. It's his first pro game. And uh, surely nerves got to him. But it was great to see the, the team rally behind him and uh, make a game of it and eventually tie and go ahead. Boys Town gave themselves a fighting chance to remain among the big boys, but it will take a mighty lot of asking to do so. They romped the victory with a 2-1 win over Arnett Gardens, but it's doubtful they will have an easier day than they did against their neighbors. Many expected Rena to sink after striker Craig Foster departed to Humber Lion, but the former champions are swimming and fighting for a top six place. Ramon Plummer scored a double as they saw off UWI 2-0 to move to 35 points and fifth on the table. I've missed a couple of chances, but today I've turned up and I've given my team a, a good game. Overall, the team played well, so I'm grateful for that. Elsewhere, Junior McGregor scored twice as Tiffany Gardens beat Cavalier 3-1 at the Edward Siaga Sports Complex. Karen Madden, TVJ Sports.